plants and diffused light. How does scattered light affect photosynthesis? Light travels in a straight line. Depending on the position of the sun at each time of the day, plants that are not in direct line of sight with the sun would not be able to receive sunlight. However, when significant scattering occurs in the stratosphere due to the presence of stratospheric aerosol particles, some rays of light are deflected, resulting in the overall diffusion of light over a larger area and reaching spots which are not in direct line of sight with the sun. For the experiment, you will need a fire extinguisher, a smartphone with an app that measures light intensity such as Androsensor and some friends. For the experimental setup, choose a brightly lit area but with some shade nearby. Place the smartphone in a shady area and face the camera of the smartphone away from the sun. Have someone to stand in the brightly lit area with a fire extinguisher. starts off feeding a basal level of light received by plants in the shade. The fire extinguisher introduces an artificial cloud and this represents the scattering processes over a few kilometers in the stratosphere. Notice there is an increase in the intensity of light received by plants in the shade. This may result in an increase of photosynthesis. Why is this so? Volcanic particles scatter light, reducing the normal amount of light reaching the Earth's surface. As shown earlier, this allows normally shaded area to receive more light. This is unlikely to reduce photosynthesis in normally bright areas because of an effect called light saturation. This is when rate of photosynthesis does not increase past a certain light intensity. In this illustration, a plant species used to bright light reaches light saturation at 600 units. Meanwhile, direct noon time radiation is 4,500 units. This means that diffusing light is unlikely to negatively affect photosynthesis since many plants already reach saturation during most parts of the day. It actually increases photosynthesis because a greater area receives diffused light as compared to direct beam radiation. We have shown that particles suspended in the air are able to reflect some light and cause them to be more diffused, thereby increasing the luminosity of nearby shady areas. This allows light to reach the leaves of plants that would otherwise be shaded and thereby increase photosynthesis of plants in the shaded region. While the particles may block direct sunlight, the diffused reflection causes luminosity to increase at a larger scale, giving a net effect of increased luminosity over the entire region. This results in an overall increase of photosynthesis.